Greetings, I'm Ross Ben, a humble servant of humanity. Uh, this is my third uh, Free Your Mind conference. I focused on uh, the mystic Philadelphian roots of U.S.-Israeli relations, you know, looking at uh, a historic figure by the name of Elias Boudinot, who is really responsible for a lot of what we see today in terms of uh, APAC, uh, Israeli uh, influence on Congress, you know, how you could have uh, Netanyahu come and speak before Congress, you know, superseding the president and, you know, like, where'd that come from? How is that, you know? A lot of the roots is that goes back to the colonial era and Elias Boudinot, you know? So that was really what I shared today, showing that, uh, you know, beyond uh, this really being a, a uh, an advancement of Rome's crusade and retaking Jerusalem, you know. On, on other levels, it's about uh, manipulating prophetic timelines, you know, and uh, locking humanity on a doomsday scenario with a kind of World War III breaking out in them regions, you know. So we have to be aware of the occult roots of that plan and, you know, to help prevent it from happening. I lived in Philadelphia the last 20 or so years, you know? And, uh, I mean, you know, beyond the energy, you know, like Philadelphia does have a very, we say, deep in energy, right? Well, Philadelphia is, Philadelphia is a haunt. What I would say is that Philadelphia is a haunt. So if you remember the movie Sixth Sense, that Bruce Willis film, you know, where it's like, oh, I see dead people, right? You know, that was set in Philadelphia, and there's a reason for that. Because the living and the dead live side by side. And Philadelphia has like 400 years of history in every neighborhood. But the thing about Philly is the art, architecture, and art type symbols that you find in the city, the, the story behind it, is mind blowing. DC is an imitation of Philadelphia. Is that right? It is. This was the original capital. Right. And the reason why they made DC is because the, the original surveyor of Philadelphia, a man named Thomas Holmes, he made the east west uh, meridian of Philadelphia the shortest distance between the highest point, the, the uh, shortest distance, highest land straight line across from the Schuylkill to the Delaware. He made, that's what Market Street represents. So that's the east-west uh, meridian of Philadelphia. The 90 degree angle is Broad Street, which is the north-south axis of the city, right? But the problem is, is that the way he uh, surveyed it the city's axis is not aligned to the Earth's magnetic axis. DC is Philadelphia aligned magnetically, okay? And what is the capital in DC is like on the 30th Street in Philadelphia, 30th Street Station. And what is the White House in DC is like on the City Hall in Philadelphia, you know? Prophecy says that we are due a thousand years of peace soon, you know, they call it the fulfillment of millennial prophecy. And Johann Kelp, the first Rosicrucian, that lived right in Philadelphia, he lived in a cave in the Wissahickon Valley called the Hermit's Cave, right? Uh, he came here and like, like what he was teaching is that this is the place that we're going to witness the thousand years of peace unfold. You know, Philadelphia's on the 40th parallel. We know 40 has a lot of mystic symbolism biblically, you know. Uh, and uh, like, like what you say, oral tradition, right? Says that uh, this area is immune from natural disaster. This area, the dull aware valley, what they call it today. 
what originally was Shaksa Moxon, Lenape Hoking, you know? Mayan calendar mark is what we would call the quickening, you know, this accelerated time that we're in, the pinnacle of space-time, where space-time is shaped like a pyramid. Cycles that occur at the base of the pyramid are a lot slower than cycles that occur at the pinnacle of the pyramid. We're at the pinnacle. We actually passed it. That's what 12-21-2012 was all about, that pinnacle point. They interviewed this Mayan elder, and he said, no, it didn't have anything to do with the end of the world or anything. We, we just marked this as the coming of the wise men. Information age, that's right. Connecting, they're disseminating this information to other people, and the wise men are here, the wise men are coming. I consider you one of them, sir. I'm just a small instrument playing my part, you know? Yeah, thank y'all. All right, appreciate it. All right, all right. Guidance and protection on your mission. My name is Ross Ben. I'm a natural mystic, humble servant of humanity, and I want to share with you some things that I've learned about the place that I live, one of the most mystical and magical places on planet Earth, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.